Hey guys, it's a great day and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, hello guys. I am Isa, an incoming third year nursing student in San Pedro College, Davao. I make lifestyle, travel, and nursing content in this channel. Before anything else, just a disclaimer, I am not the most credible person or the best person to give advice. So please take what I say with a grain of salt. What I will be sharing may or may not be applicable to you. So everything I say in this video is based from what I know, learned, and experienced from the past two years of being a nursing student. Second year in nursing is the year that we first have our clinical duty or the clinical rotations. And mostly the first year, it's more on um, general subjects and fundamentals in nursing. So first year, there are a lot of return demonstrations or RDs. In second year, you will be doing a lot of case studies and of course, dili ka pun mawala ang RD. I will be dividing this video into two parts. The first part will be for the subjects in the first semester and then the second part will be the subjects in the second semester and I will be focusing more on the majors and I will not be discussing the minors anymore. By the way, this is based on our curriculum in SPC. I'm going to talk about the non-RLE subjects first. So these are major subjects and most are prerequisites to proceed to the next level. The first subject on my list is the subject pharmacology. I have to be honest and say that this subject was quite a challenge for me. The first few topics were okay when it was still about intro to pharmacology, phases of drug therapy, and drug forms and administration. These are the topics that make you appreciate pharmacology, but as you go on into your lectures and encounter the different types of drugs, their mechanism of action, their uses, side effects, and nursing responsibilities, it could get a little overwhelming because you have to memorize a lot of things. When you study pharmacology, I suggest that you familiarize yourself with all of the drugs under every classification. Actually, there are a lot of study techniques in pharmacology because you can base it on their prefix or suffix and also you can see a lot of tables in the internet. You can look it up online and find tables like these. Next subject is nutrition and diet therapy. This subject has both lecture and laboratory. For the lecture, I'd say that the topics are quite simple and understandable. This subject sparked my interest because I have always been curious about what makes up our food on a more technical level. Back in senior high school, I tried dieting and it did not work for me. Instead, I got hospitalized for that. And maybe that's why I am interested in this subject because I want to know the right proportions in every meal. So in this subject, you will be learning about proteins, carbohydrates, fats and oils, vitamins and minerals. As for the lab part of this subject, you will be dealing with a lot of math. Did you say math in nursing? Although, basic math lang siya, but it gets a little complicated sometimes. And of course, this subject would not be a nutrition and diet therapy subject without cooking. So for us in our case, we did not have face-to-face um, -face classes during our first semester, but we were able to cook during the final exam. It was to cook a modified dish that is good for the disease that is assigned to the group. Honestly, this was not my favorite subject, but in all fairness, I got good grades and I was exempted to take the final exam for both lecture and laboratory. And here goes my favorite subject, healthcare bioethics. So healthcare bioethics is a subject that deals with the application of ethical principles and issues that affect the nursing practice. Some of the topics are actually already discussed in the ethics subject in first year. In studying this subject, you really have to understand each of the principles because during tests, you have to identify what kind of principle can be applied to that specific scenario. And it could be tricky because you would think that all of the choices are correct, but there could only be one answer. So in nursing, there is what we call concept and Related Learning Experience, or RLE. It's a concept that is when the professor gives lecture discussions, quizzes, and such. For the RLE, we have both Skills Lab and Clinical Duty. So for Skills Lab, that is when we usually have our RDs. For the Clinical Duty or Clinical Rotations, that is when we usually have our duty in the hospital or in the community, depending 
sa clinical rotation. For the care of mother, child, and adolescent lecturer, there are actually two concepts. And under that is the growth and development and maternal child nursing or MCN. So the first concept that I will be talking about is growth and development or GND. So this concept deals with the developmental stages from infancy to late adolescence. You will also be discussing the different milestones in every developmental stage, um, developmental theories, and also use the nursing process in giving care to the client. I like this concept because you will learn about the specific tasks that a person must achieve in a certain stage of his or her development. The second concept is maternal child nursing or MCN. So this deals with the care of women throughout their pregnancy and childbirth and care for their newborn child. So you'll be learning everything from the menstrual cycle to fetal development to stages of pregnancy to stages of labor until the neonatal period. And there are still a lot of topics that you discuss in between and I couldn't mention everything. MCN is an interesting concept because you get to learn about everything that a woman goes through before, during, and after pregnancy. There's also a little bit of math in this concept when you... But it's really just basic math when you compute for the AOG or age of gestation, um, EDC, estimated date of confinement. In studying all the nursing concepts, it's important to not just memorize the information but to to actually um, understand, really comprehend them because it would be easier to retain that information in the long run if you truly understand what you read and what you learn. But there are some that you should actually memorize though. There are mnemonics that are helpful and you can find them on textbooks or even online. So I mentioned earlier that in nursing, there is what we call the RLE or Yunjuti. During second year, first semester, we had four clinical rotations and those were preclinical nursing, school nursing, delivery room nursing, and community health nursing. So I will be talking all about them one by one. First is the preclinical rotation. So this is basically just like an introduction of what what our clinical rotation would be like for when we actually have our duty. And we had this rotation in school. We had an RD on vital signs, had a few short quizzes, and we were introduced to Chanan! Case studies! Yay! <laughs> Second year is going to be filled with a lot of case studies because we are required to do this every rotation. So for those of you who don't know, case study is a detailed evaluation and analysis of a specific patient or client. So you will be getting necessary information from the patient or the client that is needed for the case study. So you will be asking them a lot of questions and by the end of the rotation, you will be presenting the case study or what we call the case presentation. So it's like thesis or research in senior high school when you have your research defense. The clinical instructor or the CI will be your panelist and you have to defend your case study. So it's like doing research in high school except you have to do it eight times because there are eight clinical rotations in the entire academic year. Every beginning of the rotation, there is always an orientation where the CIs talk about the needed requirements like readings, drug studies, and your, of course, your case study. So you really have to listen attentively in order for you to know what to include in your paper works. Next is the school nursing rotation. So school nursing was fun for me because that is when I applied what I have learned in concepts. So we did lecturettes for children depending on what age group is going to be assigned to you. And I remember we did one for school age children. You will be also doing the Metro Manila Developmental Screening Test or MMDST on your chosen clients. So MMDST is a screening test to determine the normalcy and developmental delays of children ages six and a half years old and below. You will be letting a child perform various tasks based on the MMDST form and it's actually fun especially if cooperative on child. Third is the delivery room nursing rotation and ito na yung exciting parts of nursing because you get to scrub in the delivery room and assist in the delivery of pregnant women. So all nursing students regardless of whatever school you attend you need to accomplish three hand deliveries, three assisted deliveries, and three immediate newborn care. During our skills lab, we did a return demonstration on intrapartum care and newborn care. Intrapartum care, RD, is kind of long 
and you have to memorize all of the steps in the procedure and have to memorize all their rationale. Unfortunately, I haven't accomplished a single case because um, we had our delivery room duty in the lying in. It was a rare circumstance that somebody gives birth, tapos graveyard shift budget me, so the chances were low. If ever your CI lets you decide who goes first, you immediately volunteer because you will still eventually have to accomplish all of the cases. So might as well do it early because it is also you who will have a hard time, especially if matapos na ang mga rotations and you haven't gotten a single case. So volunteer. For the fourth rotation, I'll be talking about it in a little while because I am first going to talk about its lecture counterpart. Community health nursing or CHN is the field in nursing wherein families and communities are our clients. CHN mostly revolves around the family, its types, organizations, and health tasks. You will also be discussing the family nursing process, which is a crucial part in CHN. That includes family health assessment, family diagnosis, uh, formulating, implementing, and evaluating an FNCP or family nursing care plan. So it's an NCP but directed to an entire family. You'll we'll also be discussing immunizations, primary health care, universal health care. You'll also be memorizing some laws, which is my least favorite part to be honest. CHN is a fairly easy subject because the topics can easily be comprehended and most terms are simple and straightforward. So the last rotation that I will be talking about is CHN. In this rotation, we have our duty outside the hospital setting and interact directly with the community. If I could describe CH and RLE in one word, it would be mainit. And it's because we have to walk in the barangays that we are assigned to. You know how hot the weather in Davao is. Student nurses look so cute though in CH and duty because we look like Mary Poppins who have the big black umbrellas and parakits. So what we do in the community is search for families who can be our clients for our case study. So we go inside their homes, get to know the family members, ask questions, identify problems, and formulate interventions. Implement them and evaluate whether the uh, implemented interventions were effective. We also have our ARAS which is like a journal where we write the activities that we did for our duty as well as our reflection. Now let's proceed to the second semester. Gamay na lang ni guys, I swear. The subject that I will be talking about is nursing informatics. This subject has both lecture and laboratory. So NI or nursing informatics is the study of computers in application to the field of nursing. NI can be applied in the nursing practice, administration, education and research. We will be discussing computer applications, netiquette, data privacy act, critical care applications. You will also get a look at what nursing informatics is like in other countries. I believe that the subject has not yet found its recognition as a subspecialty of the nursing arts and science in the country because the healthcare system here in the Philippines still uses the traditional way of documentation unlike in other countries who have modern technologies. But the subject is still important to learn as it is integrated in the nursing curriculum and it is also to ensure its impact in the local healthcare system. This concept is related to the concept during the first semester. The difference is that during the first semester, it talks about well clients. And for this semester, it talks about patients who are at risk and with problems. You will be discussing diseases, their etiology, um, signs and symptoms, treatment and management. You will not only be considering the maternal complications, but the fetal complications as well. Pediatric nursing deals with conditions that patients experience from the infancy stage until the adolescent stage. Personally, pediatric nursing is my favorite concept because, I don't know, I think it's interesting for me to know the different diseases that one may acquire throughout their childhood. And maybe because I was a masakiti na bata. <laughs> and again, you will be learning about the complications, the assessment of what a child is like, having that specific disease, its nursing interventions, and treatment and management. 
IMCI is an integrated approach that focuses on the health and well-being of children ages 5 years old and below. There's a whole booklet in IMCI that you use in order to complete the case management process. And there is this form that you need to fill in in order to assess, classify, and treat the sick infant or child. IMCI is kind of like CHN but for children. In studying IMCI, I suggest that you memorize what is written in the booklet because during exams, uh, you won't be bringing the booklet and you need to memorize what was written there in order to answer most of the questions. As for the RLE in the second semester, there are four clinical rotations and I will just be giving an overall insight about each one of them. And let's start with the DR rotation. You're just basically going to do the same thing. So you're going to assist in prenatal checkups, scrub in the DR if my cases. For the ob nursing rotation, we had our first ever hospital duty because we have always had our duty in the lying in. I felt like a legit student nurse being in the hospital and do all these procedures. We take vital signs, give medications, do charting, monitor the IV. Um, and collaborate with other healthcare workers. Our third rotation was community health nursing and I will no longer be talking about that. And the fourth rotation was IMCI, also known as the chillest rot ever, in my opinion. Most of my classmates also consider IMCI as the chillest rot. We made herbal medications and made a commercial video about it. Our group was awarded having the best commercial video and that was edited and directed by yours truly. If you guys want to see that video, I will link it in the description box so that you will have an idea. We also went to the community to search for families with children ages 5 years old and below and use the IMCI forms to assess, classify, and treat the sick child or infant. And finally, we are done. Guys, I tried to explain them in the simplest way possible so I hope that you will not be overwhelmed with all of the subjects and all of the information that I have given. I made this video for second year nursing students in order to get an idea of what second year in nursing is like. If you guys want more nursing content then you can comment down below what type of video you want me to do and also follow me on my Instagram account because I will be posting updates there and I am also planning to do a Q&A all about nursing. So I hope this video helps you and see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.